Welcome to Sino Studio and uh, today we're going to create this sort of cool noise contour effect. Um, I was experimenting the other day and I came across this effect and I thought it was pretty cool. So in order to do this you need uh, just a few tops and a channel uh, noise chop to. Um, so it's, it's quite a simple effect um, to create um, but I think it's quite cool so what we're going to do is we're going to start from from scratch and to start this off we're going to need a noise top and with the noise top we can set the, the period to 2 um, harmonic gain uh, set that to 0 Oh, sorry, no, the harmonics to zero. Um, harmonic spread, we can set that to 1.2. Um, the amplitude, we can set that to two. And the offset, we can set that to 0.2. And at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and add a null and you can do that by clicking here and pressing alt 2 um sorry alt n and let's go in here yeah. and to get a simple animation we can click here on the translate function and do a python function for abs time dot seconds and I want to divide this by 10, otherwise it would be too fast. So I want to copy this and do it for the Y and the Z as well. So we've got this sort of revolving um, black and white noise. Um, okay, and then so we've got our null, which basically we can put our background here and we don't need to re keep resetting the background. So it's quite a good um, low CPU, low GPU sort of solution for that. Um, and then I want to sort of, we need to get some lines um, so we can use an edge if we want to try and create a, a sort of contour effect. So I want to use uh, this black level. Um, Uh, sorry, I'm going to use this black level and set it to 0 0.1 um, and then the strength to 10 I think and then put the sample step uh, to 10 and 10 um, so at, at the moment we've got this sort of you know there's more defined lines here now with this edge top um, so we can add another um, we can add another edge, I think, to here. So, here we have the edge top, and for this one, we can just set the the black level to the default, and the strength. I think this is the only thing that we need to change. And then we can add a slope. We can set this, uh, the red channel, we can set that to vertical blue. And the, the green channel set to horizontal, horizontal green. Blue channel, set that to horizontal alpha. And then we can leave these two as default, the alpha method. We don't need to change that. Um, the zero point, uh, we can change that to two completely, put that to zero. And then we can bring the strength up like this. Oh, and uh, I think at this point it would be good to set the um, the ratio to something a little bit more pleasant um, so we can set that to that so 
already it's starting to look like the like the final thing but I think we need to do some color grading um, and to do this we can use a constant chop so with this we can not not chop sorry top <laughs> and um, we can set this to any color we want um, so we can set this to I think I put a light blue on here because we like cyan on this channel um, and then from this we can um, composite these two together because we need to um, use the constant uh, color and plug that into here plug this into here um, like so oh. and then we can just link that back up to here now so use input so the constant chop is setting this to a default so we want to make sure that that is the same input as we have set as our resolution here and now you can play around with the um, composite um, operations similar to what they have in Photoshop so you can you can choose you know different filtering effects uh, I think I've chosen chroma difference um, which uh, I don't exactly know what chroma difference is but all of these have different effects going through so we can use that one because I think it looked cool um, and then I think I want to brighten this up and uh, to do that we can use a, a level for some reason my computer is acting quite slow I chose to do this on my laptop today um, just for speed of doing this video um, and with the gamma we can bring that up to make it a bit more clearer um, yeah yeah Bring the strength slider to floor four. Bring this strength to here, that's what I forgot. Okay, so we've got this effect here. And now we need to, um, we can put some more uh, animation effects on here to give it, uh, you know, some more dynamics. So what we can use is the noise chop here. And to get this information into tops, we would need to use a chop too. And then we can basically just bring this over here and add this reference in. like this yeah noise chop two and then we can use the displacement top to sort um to take this noise um chop information and merge it with here so that this reacts with this um so the basically the noise uh, chop can deform the the visuals so if i insert Displacement chop, top, and put it into the second channel like this. At the moment, it is all a bit messed up, but uh, we're going to sort that out. So, uh, set the horizontal source, set that to none. And then for the vertical source, set that to red. And for the midpoint, we can set them both as the default, that's fine. And this weight, we can set that to zero. And for this, we can set this to 0.1. And let's try and use a mirror. Okay. 
that we can use 0.01 right here I think I think that'd be better okay and so we, we basically have our effect now and you can you can play around with the the noise here you can add some more displacement with noise here if you if you so wished um and you can you can play around with with this and see what different effects you can come up with um I think it's quite a cool effect. Um, even when zooming out, it creates a completely different effect. Um, so yeah, there's lots you can do with this. Um, I've given you a, a, you know, a nice little, little starting uh, basis for this effect and um, see what you can create and add to this. It's, it's yours for whatever you would like. And uh, if you want to export it, just you can add a, uh, a movie file out job here and then you can set what video codec you like save it and then press record here and it will record record the um the movie file so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this this is my uh my first video uh first youtube video so uh, be kind in the comments <laughs> i'll be trying to create um more experimentations like this and and give you free tips and uh if you want this file you can head down to the link below um, over to my blog um, and you can download this or follow along to this video. Thank you.